we have this dream of being off grid 24 7 the whole year and before this it hasn't been an option now our van is on the shop this is actually our friend's place uh, and we are honored to use it for a couple of days doing some installations we are going to install uh, solar panels again to our roof we dismantled the solar panels during the winter time because we ordered new ones and now we are going to install them back and of course always upgrades this time a huge upgrade for solar and that will be enough for yeah being on our property station for longer periods of time and if in the future we are somewhere longer time in one place then we have enough solar for making these videos and yeah i think the most battery hacking thing is uh, making these videos because rendering these videos and editing on the computer takes a lot of power we got this huge garage just for ourselves and we can actually do all the things here with what we need we ordered new batteries for our van and this time we are going lithium uh, we have been using the AGM batteries for five years now and one of them is dead and another one is uh, almost dead so we need to exchange in them and we discovered that lithium batteries are much cheaper in long run much better they weigh less, they take space less and you can charge them much with higher current but that's topic of other video now we are installing solar panels dogs are getting out because there's lots of sniffing to do so the solar panels we told you that it's panels and we will install two panels to our van two 345 watt panels so it's a total of 690 watts we built a this or i built a this and my friend welded it so it's sturdy as hell so both of the solar panels will be top of each other and the bottom one will slide here so top of each other and then with the other one it will be sliding to the side of the van and that way we can when we are stationed in places where we can actually slide the solar panel we can get double the solar power one minus thing is that now when we have two solar panels on top of each other and we have to raise it from the roof because we have a vents there or toilet vent that is on the way it will be a bit higher than our roof vents that's not a really a problem but of course it will increase our diesel usage we have to build some kind of spoiler to front of the uh, solar panels because otherwise it will be making a lot of noise and we don't like noise when we are driving so we are trying to minimize all the noise i ordered also sliders just a minute Th these are just like uh, you have on a cupboard but these are heavy duty they can last 160 kilos of force so it will be retracted with these beneath the another panel yes i don't know how this works outside during the winter time but we will learn in the future but it is a cool lakenoito it has its bearings here so it should work if they don't get like uh, really dirty or stuck there's some plastic parts on this which i little bit are uh, i'm afraid of of those but we will have to live with these and also the charge controller we had to replace it because now we can get lots of more amperage and we decided to go with a blue soros blue solar charge controller so this this doesn't have any smart connections and that's because the future batteries with the BMS it has all the things uh, like the mon battery monitor and everything in the app 
and we don't need another app. So that's why this is such a dummy MPPT controller. 60 amps, so I think 57 amps is the maximum that we can get from these solar panels. How we are going to attach the solar panels to the, our van? And that's the clue. What we're going to use is 5 to 1 Cicaflex. Uh, this is the best one you can buy for inside solar panels. It's UV uh, protected, so it doesn't crack. This is hard as hell. Uh, I dismantled the old uh, corner pieces from our roof and it was pain in the ass because it was so good on the roof. I had to use like knives and all the things and they don't won't get out of the roof with this. I'm just making sure that everything, my calculations and measurements is right. Oh, mark the place where the panel is coming and the corner pieces, then I clean it really well. And if there's some old glue, I remove them. And after that, we just glue this in place. Yes, always make your measurements. And we did it perfect because this fits like a glove here. Because the solar panel is going that way and when it goes that way it will lift up this side of the structure. So we need lots of more stability on this side. We fried our edit electrical bowl, so here is still left some melted uh, plastic where the plug melted almost completely. And that's because we have been using this for past five years now. And there is some bad connection that is getting hot. So I'm changing this plug for a new one and also change in the other side, so the wires plug. So everything is changed and we have again good connection and no melting at all. Spray okay. cleaner to clean the surfaces where we put the glue. So it will stick much better. He's a good boy. Three tubes of glue later. Yeah, we always go nuts with the glue amount. And next thing that we're gonna do is wait for tomorrow, until tomorrow, and then put the panels in there and let it sit for, I think, 24 hours. Then the shitty part of the installation, cleaning. It's good to have friends with benefits and this time the benefits were that my friend had right size screws because I screwed, screwed up and I bought wrong size screws. I will show you. And these screws here, I thought they would be M5s and they weren't, they were M4s. And luckily my friend had just right screws here so we can actually install these to our van.
all the tools are here. It's pretty awesome to work on a van when you have like this amount of tools. Whatever you imagine, my friend has them <laughs> because he uh, makes these American cars and he has every tool for vans, cars, and everything. Gonna work on this and. When I have done, I have this silicone paste thing, uh, which I'm gonna soak all these bearings. Because over time the bearings will be uh, rusted, I know that. But I hope the silicone will give us a lot of years with this, these bearings. Yes, first panel is up and we just have to bolt it, bolt it down and that's it, so. Trying to put the bolt in. We did spend good night here inside of this warm garage. So it has little perks here, like we can use the electricity and it's so handy because we can use our own toilet and there's a water faucet so we can take Fresh water, for example, now we are boiling coffee. Well, the thing when you live full time in a camper van in a cold climate, if you want to do some upgrades and renovations, usually the materials and glues, they will say that you have to use them when it's plus temperatures outside. This is really nice. And this garage is huge because it can fit our high top van and also it can fit the chimney that we have sticking out from our rooftop. I see we're in La Toilets. It's out of batteries. Do yeah, you know what it means? Coffee break, coffee yes. pause. Coffee pause and charging the batteries. We have just three drills that we have to do. Put three bolts to the structure and then just put the lower slider panel to its place. I'm a bit afraid of doing that because I re-test uh, fitted it uh, like two weeks ago and then it fitted perfectly there on the railings and now when we have welded the frame and it has just a little bit of movement so can we fit the solar panel there. Yeah, it feels good when you are almost there, like almost done the project. Even if, if this is fun project, I like to do it and it's something that I planned on my head and now it's getting reality, it's really nice, but still getting it ready and working, that is the best thing. Yeah, when and you have done something with your own hands, it's like, like rewarding feeling. Yeah. I will drink this coffee and maybe browse on the internet and then I have time one and a half hours before my friend comes and we lift the solar panel. It's better to wait till the muscles come. Yes. But I did store his electricity so I can finish my work day in advance. Yes. And I go now sit there and stare at the walls. But it has been nice because Joni has a day off, so he can concentrate on this upgrade. And there he goes to the roof once again. 690 watts of solar panels, almost on the roof. Yeah, we are done all the bolting and gluing and all those work. We just have to lift up the panel from there. To the railings. We have uh, six feet on the roof that are holding the panels. That will be more than enough. Uh, it, this uh, upper panel is bolted with the four bolts to the frame. Not gonna go anywhere. This is with the 12 bolts. This uh, railing not going anywhere. 
and all these uh, frames are also bolted to the legs. I'm re still planning to do some uh, spoiler on the front of here because of the wind noise. I think this is going to be really noisy on the motorway at least. Little bit of details of the install. For example, this railing, it's a bit tilted to this way. So when we are flat with the van, then the solar panel is a little bit this way. And then it won't go back underneath the other panel. We have to test it also during the high winds, how it affects because this is really large uh, surface where the wind can actually <laughs> take and blow out our whole roof. But I think when it's storm winds, we're gonna retract the under the panel, but little winds or medium winds, it's totally okay. Much more work than I was anticipating. A uh, total of uh, eight hours of work. I'm gonna just wait my friend to come here and then we lift the, another panel up there to its place and clean up this mess. Uh, for a temporary fix for the sliding solar panel, we're gonna use this. This will lock it on its place. And in the future, we might do something else, some string loaded uh, pins or hand screws. Yes, we talked with uh, my friend how we're gonna raise the solar panel on the roof. And yeah, he has a truck. Truck. What? Truck. Forklift. Forklift, which we can use actually to raise it there because it's uh, 35 kilos. 30 kilos maybe, and we have to fit it on the railings. We got the panel to its place. We have one problem. My schematics was too tight. Actually, it's just perfect, but when the aluminum gives like little room, wiggle room, then it's really hard to move this. Let's see, we are trying now to put some Vaseline on every part. It moves pretty smoothly, but there is some thing that is blocking it at the moment. It has to be a screw or something that is on the way of the railing. Yes, it was stuck with the one screw and that's why it didn't go until the end. And we got it fixed and now it's moving, not so smoothly as I thought and would need, but it's moving. Let's see how we deal with that, if we buy some ladders or something. So it's much easier to get out and get inside back. Yeah, now it's working and we draw here to camping ground and it was really scary to drive here because all the extra noise that car made we always like are the solar panels gone and when we actually turned to right we thought that this will open and it will be on the left lane <laughs> but nothing bad happened we have some installation to done in the future for the wirings and new charge controller but it's in the future when we get batteries and we will upgrade the whole electrical system of our van. I think we're gonna open this another panel on only when we are in desperate situation that our batteries are draining, which 345 watts should be enough in normal day usage. And when we are on our property for longer periods of time, when we are not driving. So that's when we need solar panel most. Being stationary longer periods of time and maybe using laptops on the same time and rendering videos which is yeah it uses a lot of energy. Yes as you can see it's not really a easy job to get inside this because it's weight so much so I think we're gonna go with the plan B of some kind of ladders or something so we can push the panel inside and 
pull it outside yeah that's our plan I think because yeah now it's sliding quite good but still it's so heavy that if you try to open it from here from side it's really tough yeah you can actually pull it I think uh, uh, it's a kilograms uh, it feels like 10 kilos of uh, force you need to move it so I don't know some electrical motors maybe that you can actually open and close it that would be awesome <laughs> I don't know what kind of motors some kind of belts or just like uh, I don't know if you have any ideas of how we could actually get this working easier comment below and let's see how we solve this thing Okay, that didn't took much time. Now I found a solution. Yeah, that is actually stick for our uh, canopy, and we can we can use the same stick for opening and closing the solar panel. I think I'm gonna put there some kind of hooks or rings where I can actually put that hook and pull it and push it. Pretty awesome. Life finds a way, always.